Breaking news, fire officials have been working extremely hard on this apartment fire near Southwest 74th and May. This is at the Ashley Park townhomes by I-240. Chris Gilmore is live there with an update from firefighters. Chris. Good morning. What a morning it was. A great effort by the Oklahoma City firefighters in getting this under control. The fire is now completely extinguished. Right now they're in the cleaning up phase, making sure that all their equipment is uh, put away safely. And the firefighters are also in the process of thawing out in that uh, reheating bus that we talked about earlier last hit. I do want to introduce Benny Fulkerson here with the Oklahoma uh, Fire Department. And we want to talk about the challenges that were faced by your firefighters. And uh, first, when when did this become a defensive fire? Well, we got the call just after 430 and it went defensive very quickly after that. They tried to make entry into the second story and there was just a lot of fire involvement. Uh, they knew that it was going to be a defensive operation at that point. Uh, they did call for a third alarm about 25 minutes in due to the close proximity of the fire to two other buildings that were occupied buildings and we did evacuate those two buildings. And uh, you had a, a little bit of trouble of keeping track of those evacuees because uh, they're smart and didn't want to stay out in this cold, dangerously cold weather. Those individuals went to their cars, we were told, and hope that they'll be allowed back into their apartments soon. So the good news here this morning is the building that was on fire was not occupied. It was a laundry facility on the bottom, and so uh, nobody displaced, nobody injured. It's just a little bit brisk out here this morning for our firefighters. Right. Well, thank you, Benny. As he mentioned, the fire is still under investigation. Not exactly sure what caused it. As soon as we get more details, we'll be sure to update you. Reporting live on the scene on the story in Oklahoma City, Chris Gilmore, News 9. All right, Chris, thanks so much.